everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie, and today I'm here to do my TBR for the Emojiathon read along that I will be participating in in the month of June. The Emojiathon read along is hosted by Dylan over at Dylan the Reader. I'll have his channel linked down below if you guys were interested in checking him out. And this is a month long read along that takes place over the course of the entire month of June, like I said. And it is a set of challenges that are based off a set of emojis and they have different questions to go along with them and it just sounded like a lot of fun. This is going to be my first official read-along I've ever done here on BookTube and I thought it would be just a perfect time to, you know, start doing some of these read-alongs because it's the summer and it just sounded like a, fun, a lot of fun. I saw a lot of my other favorite BookTubers do it as well. So I thought I would join him in on the fun. So, like I said, I you can there's different challenges and you can pick up there's a minimum of four you have to do, but you can do as many as you want. And I picked four for myself, but that could change over the course of the read-along. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I thought this would be a lot of fun, and I'm going to jump right in and show you guys what is on my TBR for this. So the first challenge I picked was for the present emoji, and this is a book that was gifted to you. And for this challenge, I chose Dance Upon Air by Nora Roberts. I received this as a giveaway uh, reward by Lisa over at Books and Smiles. I'll have her channel linked down below. She's a great friend of mine. I love her videos to death. Um, and this is a adult contemporary novel that follows three sisters and they live on an island off the coast of Massachusetts, which is my home, sit uh, home state. And it is, like I said, a adult contemporary, but I believe it does have an aspect of magical realism to it. I'm not quite sure. I just love this cover. I mean, it is absolutely stunning. I mean, this is the first book in a trilogy. I own the other two books as, as well, and I just am really excited to jump in and, and dive into this book because I've heard fantastic things about Nora Roberts' books. The second challenge that I chose was to uh, was for the robot emoji, and this is to pick a sci-fi or futuristic book. And for this, I chose Children of Eden by Joey Graceffa. This is a book that I've mentioned quite a few times here on my channel. I met Joey Graceva back in October when this book was released. I'll have that video linked down below if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on that whole entire experience. And this is a young adult dystopian novel, which is right up my alley because dystopian is my favorite genre. And I've been meaning to read it since I met Joey Graceva so many months ago, and I'm really excited to dive in. The next emoji that I chose was the baby emoji, and this is a 2016-2017 release, so this can be any book that was released last year or is coming out or has already come out this year. So for this challenge, I chose Infinity by Tabitha Lord. This book was sent to me for review by the author. This is an advanced reader's copy. This book comes out on June 6th, and this is another young adult dystopian novel. This is actually a second book in a series. I have the first book on ebook. I plan on reading that also this month. Um... So I'm really excited to dive in. Again, Young Adult Dystopian, you know, right up my alley. I just love anything dystopian, and this cover is also really, really pretty. And the last challenge I chose for this uh, read-along is for the kind of looking eyes emoji, and this is a book that you've been seeing everywhere, and for this challenge I chose Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This came out back in November, I believe, and it was getting a lot of buzz around BookTube and on the kind of bookish community, and I have read Marissa Meyer's, one of Marissa Meyer's books before. I read Cinder by Her, which is the first book in the Lunar Chronicles last year. I have a full review for that on my channel. I will link it down below. I was not a fan of it. I don't plan on continuing on with the Lunar Chronicles, but this does sound more up my alley. This is an Alice in Wonderland retelling, but it is the backstory of the Queen of Hearts, which is just something that appeals to me a little bit more. And I'm really excited to dive in. Again, this cover is just absolutely beautiful. And I've heard fantastic things about it. Hopefully I'll enjoy it more than Cinder. Because I did really like uh, Marissa's Meyer's writing in Cinder. So that's kind of why I picked this book up. And that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I will have links to all the videos I mentioned down below. As well as a link to Dylan the Reader's channel and Lisa from Book and Smile's channel. They will all be linked down below as well as all my social media accounts. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. I also will have my blog linked down below if you guys want to follow me on there. I post reviews that I have not yet posted on here on the channel. They're all on there and I hope to see you guys in my next video very very soon. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye!